Hey everyone, Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm. Okay, so we've started a lot of our plants from seed, but now it's time to do some propagation by cuttings. I take a lot of my um, plants that I've wintered through the winter, and um, they stay in my basement. So an example is the snapdragon or the basil. And um, it's really bushy, some of it's about to bloom. So I'm just going to do a few cuttings and show how to do it. But also lavender and any of the perennials are great. So um, I also do basil. I have one to show you. But let me show you how you do it. Okay, so basically you get a dog bowl. And I already started putting soil in here. But um, what you want to do is you want to mix a little sand because you want root cuttings to be damp but not wet. So you want good drainage. So a handful of sand for snapdragons. When I did lavender, I did a lot of sand because it doesn't like a lot of moisture. In the same, well, basil, I just used potting soil because I had a pot. So, and then this is good old potting soil. I just mix it in. Make sure it's a little damp, but not wet. Now, I like using clay pots or else the Starbucks. Starbucks is great because they have the lids and you make the straw hole a little bigger. This is great, but I want these Snapdragons to stay in here because I'm going to put them on my table. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill this up. And really kind of make it firm. I don't want a lot of air holes. And then I'm just going to spray it just a little bit. Just to make sure. It was a little drier than I thought. Okay. Now. For me, I want something that has like three noids. So the noids is where the flowers, not the flowers, the leaves come out and that way they're rooted. And I'm not going to go for anything with the flowers. One, I want to look at the flowers. Two, I want something that has a shorter growth because I don't want to have to use energy to grow. So I just come in and cut. So for those, so I'm going to rip off the bottom because I really want to make it like a damage to it. I even take a fingernail and just kind of push in and then I just pinch off the rest of the leaves. Now, snapdragons can be started from seed as well. They take a little longer, but um, if you take cuttings, and I do both, um, you have something that's ready pretty quickly. And so just, again, if you don't have, I'm uncoordinated today, you just scratch it. I'm going to spray it with a little water. Make sure it's clean. Then I'm going to dip it, and this is um, Garden Safe Take Root. Put it in. And then I'm going to take my container and take my finger. Some people push it straight in. The problem is sometimes that take root comes off. That's why I also pre-moistened it. And then I put it in and I really firm around it. Okay. Can you see how nice that is? Okay, let me find another small one. This is great to do with kids too. Kids love to see plants. I mean, they're really into the seeds. You know, when they see something that comes from nothing, pretty much, you have just a pot of soil. And um, to some coming up is cool. But also, my grandson loves doing this because he loves misting them and making sure that they actually take root. 
So I guess he's gone through that one thing. So just spray to clean it off and get it damp, dip. And push in. Okay, let me finish these. Okay, so we're done with them. They're tiny right now, but what I want to do is I'm going to miss these. I'm not going to get the soil really damp because I don't want to get any bad bacteria or fungi or anything else, but I'm going to keep these moist. So then I'm going to put them in a bag, an apple bag. And it has little holes all around it. You probably can't see them, but. Because I want air in here. That's why I kind of like these cups. They already have a hole and a lid, but I want to do this. And then I'll tuck it under. Now, every couple days, I'm going to make sure that there's moisture on the plant, but I don't want to rot it either. And I'll put this in a sunny window, but not real bright. Now, I want to show you the basil. I did this about three days ago. And I already had another plant in here that's going to um, basically make some flowers. But here's the basil. So one, two, three, four. So... I put these in this pot because I want to keep them in this pot and then it goes into a wicker basket and then later on as it gets bigger then I'll pull out the basil but with the basil and the lavender I did not miss them maybe the first day I did a quick coat I did not cover the basil basil and lavender hate a lot of moisture on them they'll rot so Oh, that smells so good when you spray it. You just put it, and I sprayed it maybe once or twice the first day, but by now, they're already standing up, and they were ready to go. And um, these are easy to grow. All of them are easy. The only problems I've had with lavender before, I've over-misted it, and it didn't make it, but these look great. So there's four of them in here. And um, I don't know if you could see the roots, but the roots are starting to come. That's also why I like Starbucks. Oh, right here, see the root? Not really, probably. I'll take a picture, but oh, there. See the root there? So you know it's taking. And um, that's the good thing for the plastic. Plus, you get to reuse something instead of throwing it in the trash. This was done on 2 8 so roughly a month. But this is Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm. Spring is a great time to separate plants and also to take cuttings and start new plants out of it. Have a great day and please subscribe, like, and share. We need more viewers. Take care. All right, we just did some cuttings so we could root those. But I have to tell you, I decided since I um, am doing a lot of divisions on the plants, I bought this snap dragon for 50 cents last year and I kept it in my basement the whole time. And, um, and I did those cuttings and I got like six, I don't even know, I didn't count them. Then I decided they need a better soil. So I pulled them apart I should have shown you that and got three separate plants and so all I'm gonna do is pot them so out of that 50 cents and this is why it's good to look at the clearance section and um, unless you have all the money and everything and you want everything perfect which I would love but not on my budget um, you could get a lot of plants 50 cents so I have roughly nine or ten plants from this snapdragon so that's all all right a quick update on the snapdragons i mean they rooted wonderfully you remember they were only an inch tall now look at them one of them even has a flower if you want to zoom in okay and we also have a volunteer this is the trumpet vine 
not trumpet vine, just the trumpet plant. And I'm going to do a video on these. But, um, and out of the 50 cents, I have three plants and look at them now. I mean, this is only a couple weeks. And look at this. We had one extra one when I was cleaning up and it had like one root. So I put this in the hydroponic system. It's going uh, iffy. I should have maybe given it some of the uh, rooting compound. But quick update, have a great day and take your rootings.